Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Monday Matt, and you might have heard of Rachel Dozel today in the news, and she is a very interesting person, to say the least. Now, Miss Dozel is 37 years old, resides in Spokane, Washington, is the local NAACP chapter leader, and teaches many courses on African American culture at Eastern Washington University. Now, that is Miss Dozel's public life. Her private life is something entirely different, because just recently, when she was the victim of a hate crime in which somebody had left very threatening letters in the P.O. box of the NAACP, it was discovered that those letters never once went through the U.S. postal system. They didn't have barcodes, and they didn't have stamps, which means the only way that it made it into the P.O. box would be by the post office themselves or Miss Dozel. Now, the post office was investigated and found to be clear of any wrongdoings. They didn't fucking do it. So it only goes back to Dozel. Now, Dozel says, I didn't do it. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Well, during the process of the news trying to find out more information about her, they looked into her past. They looked up who she is and they discovered something very, very interesting. It turns out that Miss Dozel is from Troy, Montana, and she's white. This was confirmed by her birth parents showing a birth certificate, uh, graduation photos, wedding photos, family photos, senior yearbook photos, all sorts of things that a parent would have about their child. And in this case, we learned that Miss Dozel has been masquerading as a black woman since about 2007, 2008. And her parents haven't really talked to her since then, so they had no idea what she was up to. But when the news started to spread, someone sought them out. And they discovered it, and they were like, whoa, hold on here. This is our daughter. This is what's going on. Now, personally, I really don't give a shit about living the double life. That, that doesn't bother me at all. What gets me in this particular case is the, the way she's done it, I guess, bothers me. Um, that she has fabricated this existence. Now, I understand people like to change their identity. I understand people like to uh, outright change who they are. And in this case, she changed her race and she did it in a way that was so convincing that nobody ever questioned her on it. And she was actually able to put herself, or I should say, work herself into a position of leadership. Now, the NAACP has issued a statement saying that they are standing behind Miss Dozel right now, that they're not, they're not going to remove her from her position and anything like that. Now, if it comes out that she sent those letters to herself, then, oh yeah, she's fucking done. And based on everything we know right now, I would say there's a pretty big chance that she did. And I'm talking like an 80-20 split here is what I'm thinking. But she is going to be looked at by the Spokane City because she is uh, residing on the city commission to be an ombudsman with the police. And on her application form, she wrote that she was black and not white. So they're looking into her for possible ethical violations, which I completely understand. And they will probably determine that that was the case. Um, so I would say that after this media sensation, Rachel Dozel's professional career and probably job and everything else is going to be done. It's, it's going to be done. Um, it's going to be hard to come back from a lie like this, even if you believe that you are transracial or as some on Twitter have you put it, wrong skin, which is something that I find to be utterly hilarious. But while most people have been attacking her for living and acting and identifying as a black woman for a number of years, I kind of want to take the contrarian point here for a second and say, well, just recently with the whole Caitlyn Jenner thing, and us talking about gender, and it's something that can be changed if you feel you are born with the wrong gender. Why can't race be the same thing? I mean, and I mean that literally, like, why can't race be the same thing? You know, gender identity is not just on the inside, it's on the outside as well. Racial identity, again, same thing, it's not just on the inside, it's on the outside as well. Now, granted, the whole racism, racial situation uh, has been very complicated, very convoluted, and and very, very, very um, crazier, you could say, than the gender uh, discussion has been. And I think that if we're going to really kind of judge this woman, we should really maybe take a look at everything she's done and maybe figure out why. 
Now, according to her parents, she has been very, very, very pro African American community through various advocacy work and social justice work over the course of the past couple decades. So that is probably one of the things that led her to fully identify as a black woman. Now, the skin bronzing, uh, doing what she did to her hair, uh, the blonde dreads, all that sort of stuff, that's all personal shit right there. And I more or less am just sitting here going like, wow, she really, really fucking committed. But she fooled everyone for a number of years. For almost a decade, she fooled people. And I think that really kind of says something about it is like she was able to pull this off and she was able to do it in a way that didn't cause any problems right and people are only mad that she got found out they weren't mad when she was in the role now i think her sending those letters to herself if she did in fact do that which i do think she in fact did shows you how far she's willing to go to play that particular card. And that's the problem, right? I think that's the big problem here is when you have somebody who identifies as something and they want to live their life that way, that's fine. But when they start pushing the envelope for attention and trying to drum up controversy for attention in order to appear to be more oppressed, then yes, you're going to run into a shitload of problems. But I'm curious though, if any of Rachel Dolezal's actions recently have anything to do with how our society has started reacting to these types of situations, right? Where we have the professional victim mentality now that has been going on for quite some time. And not that I'm trying to say that Dolezal was attempting to, to, you know, launch a Patreon page and seek funding. I don't think that was it. I don't think she was looking at anything for financial gain. I think she was looking for ways to further her usefulness in the community and further her position in the community. So I think it was all about that, trying to maintain that particular lifestyle. And that's the best way she could think to do it, which is sad because since doing that, that opened her up for investigation, opened her up for the public eye to be upon her. And when they went looking, her skeletons fell out of the closet. And now we are where we are. And so I don't necessarily pity Dozel at all. I really don't. I think she brought this on herself. But I think she brought the lying on herself. And I think this exposure she brought on herself, her wanting to live and operate and identify as a black woman for a long time, as far as I can tell, has actually kind of benefited the community so much so that she went to the top of the NAACP in that region. So she must have been doing something right in that regard to warrant the respect and the position she had. So we'll see where things go. And I know people in the comments definitely won't agree with me, and that's perfectly fine. But it really does open up the discussion about whether or not people are allowed to change their race. If they can change their gender, why not their race? But those are just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, please remember to thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, share it around. And if you like what I do here, please consider supporting my channel in other ways. Links below in the video description. Thank you guys again. Have yourself a great day and peace out.